growing up as a kid, watching my grandfather paint in the backyard because he was a sign painter. He was uh, the sign painter for the city and he was creating the signs for the southernmost point where the buoy is today. And uh, he used to make signs for the city that were four by eight and they were getting upset because they had to pay him multiple times a year because every time the spring breakers would come they would steal the sign. So finally they made the concrete buoy that is there today and my grandfather designed it and came up with the 90 miles to Cuba and all the Key West, welcome to Key West. And so being inspired by watching him paint uh, artwork and do lettering, I was able to sit there with my crayons and my coloring books and surrounded by artwork, surrounded by artists, I just gravitated towards it naturally. Techniques and tools. Everyone's got their own style. Everyone's got their own approach. I like bright, very bright, very, uh, sometimes even neon, uh, because I'm, my wife tells me I'm a loud person. And so I guess that uh, comes out in my colors as well. Uh, also the black birds. I always put these little McDonald's sign birds in all my background paintings. If you see those, you know it's me. I learned that from my grandfather when I was very young. Two things he taught me how to paint right away. Palm trees and those faraway birds. And to this day, I'm painting palm trees and faraway birds. They're in every painting I do just about. I like to add canvases onto canvases. Uh, sometimes it's three canvases on one canvas, glued, dried, primed, and then painted. So now you've got a painting, but you also have it coming out at you certain places. Um, sometimes I'll find some thrown away sheet metal or roof aluminum metal, and I'll drill it onto a piece of wood and and then prime the whole thing and then paint that, or not prime the whole thing and let the wood come out on it. I'm always looking for something to create something new. Realism, to me, it's more like a photograph and not a painting. If you want something real, go take a picture. That's my motto. If you want artwork, paint it and you know, use loose brush strokes, hard brush strokes, spray paint, whatever, and, and to get that desired design. And then it's art, it's not a photograph.